What's going on everybody? This is Tony from Aerial Vision Chicago and I would like to show you how I charge my phantom batteries and soon I will be making a connector for my DJI Inspire to charge them too and discharge them and storage charge them. So here is my original DJI charger which I do still use when I travel with it's much easier to use than carrying this big thing or this big thing. So this is I still use these and I actually have uh, two of them so that I can always charge especially when I'm on vacation or something I just grab it go and charge a lot of batteries. What I did on mine is as you see I put a XT60 connector so it's in line put it in and this plugs in and I charge my batteries on my Phantom. Or when I come home to my house this is how I charge them I connect it to my big charger and what I do since it already has a built-in these batteries have a built-in balancer I go on here and I select charge to charge them and you can charge them up to uh, what I usually do is I charge them at the same rate that these charge at or you could go up a little bit higher and you could go up to about 5 amps I don't recommend going all the way up to 50 5.2 amps, but I will once in a while go up to 5 amps and then all I do is hit charge and It will start charging well to, to get it to work on these type of batteries You can't just push charge it won't it won't recognize this battery if you push charge So what you have to do is you have to push it just like you would for the phantom You would push it turn it on now. You see the battery is on So I'll show you a test really quick. Let me set the phone down for a second so i'll show you a test i plug it in inside my connector and then you'll see with the battery on i take and i connect the connector like i usually would with a regular charger i plug it in like normal uh yeah okay okay plug it in normal as you see it's blinking like it's on well that's how you get the battery to charge so now that it's on what I do is I go in here and I literally all I do is hit start and hold it on this charger at least it's gonna ask me is this a three cell and I had to confirm so I confirm and it shows my voltage and it'll start charging and this will start going up just like you normally see on a charger now let's stop it and as it's when it's done because the battery is an intelligent battery as you see it shuts off okay so now what i want to do is i want to show you how i storage charge it push it on go up okay now it's on now what i do is i go in here and i select storage literally i just go to storage and i push it hold it confirm and now it will drain just enough voltage out of here for it to go in storage mode and as you see, it goes to only about 2 amps or so. My charger won't do very high discharge rates, but that's good. You don't want to really discharge too fast. Just enough to grab some voltage out of there. So this will start blinking down and start pulling voltage out. Now, another thing I do, I don't do it, the recommended is about every 20 flights. I don't do it that often, but I do do it once in a while. I go to just discharge. And what this does is it brings the most voltage before the lipo safety comes on to about uh, 10 volts or so and then it brings out as much milliamps as possible so in dji's website it says every 20 flights you should bring it down and fully charge it back up so you like refresh the battery well i don't do it every 20 flights but i do do it so i go in here i literally do the same thing i have the battery on and i start discharging it I had to confirm again and there it goes it starts discharging and this will take a, a little while it'll take about an uh, hour 30 minutes to about two hours depending on how full your battery is so that's how I do that and soon I will be making one so that I could charge my big batteries on the Inspire I will be giving a video of that soon. This is my batteries for my S900. Some of them have batteries all over, but 
that's just a quick overview of how I do it. Another way to do it is you can order the plug from DJI that's inside the Phantom. And what I did is I modified it. I cut off the voltage ends that come to the intelligent battery that talk to the Phantom and tell it what, you know, the, what the voltage of the battery is and everything like that. I cut it off and then I solder on, as you see, it has a positive and negative lead coming off. And I solder on the same exact XT60 connector or whatever connector you use most frequently. And it works the same way. It plugs in and I leave this side on. I've seen some people cut it off, but I leave it on. So, well, that's my quick little video. It's about six minutes long, but that shows everybody how I do it. And it works really well. And I've got about, on these batteries, I've got about, um, I have eight of these phantom batteries and I have probably about 60 flights per battery and you could check that on DJI's software when plugging the battery into the phantom it'll actually show you how many flights you have it'll show you how good the batteries are still and everything like that so far all these batteries are still above 90 percent they're still very good batteries so thank you for watching and check out my aerial vision chicago if you'd like to thanks